So now we're going to speak of today of a judgment that is pending, that isn't a rudiment, but is a judgment that Paul prophesied about that it was to come and was going to be fulfilled. And it's a good judgment, very important and interesting one. Let's look to the book of Romans chapter 2. Romans chapter 2. For when Gentiles who do not have the law by nature do the things in the law, these, although not having the law, are a law to themselves, who show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience, also bearing witness, and between themselves they their thoughts accusing or else excusing them in the day when God shall judge the secrets of man by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. According to what? My gospel. Paul says with me, that's not going to take place, but in the day that God, right? In the day that God will judge the secrets of man. It isn't speaking of the secrets of the angels because they don't have secrets. It's speaking of the secrets of man that a day will come where God will judge the secrets of man with my gospel, said the Apostle Paul, right? It is to say that that day was to come. We have to know when that day arrives. Now, listen to me closely. Those who have law, listen to me closely. This is very important. Those who judge themselves by the law, they're always in condemnation because no one could fulfill the law. That's why Christ came, because no one could. So by the law, those that have the law, Paul says the law was given to the Jews and they're constantly in condemnation. So the Gentiles who have no law by their reasoning and consciences, what happens? It accuses them and defends them. So there are men and women that are always living, reasoning all their lives with their conscience. I'm doing wrong. I'm doing right. This is good. This is bad. So it accuses them and defends them. So now listen to me closely. God wants that you don't judge yourself by the law, nor by your conscience, because your conscience is a conscience of sin. God wants you to stop judging yourself and enter into the consciousness of God, which is the gospel of Paul, the mind of Christ. No, no, no. He says, don't judge yourself no longer, nor by law, nor reasoning. I want you to begin to judge yourself with the gospel of Paul, because that is the one that judges your secrets, the secrets of people. Stop judging yourself. Stop recommending yourself having concepts, personal concepts. That's why in churches there's competition. That's why there is guilt in churches. That's why men that don't know the gospel of Paul, they climb a pulpit and they know how to take you to guilt, to bring you to the pulpit. They know what they're going to preach to you and they begin to say, you sure that you're prepared for the coming of Christ? And you judge yourself with a consciousness of sin. Am I prepared? And if Christ comes tonight, are you prepared? And that's where they prepare you to tell you, let's pray. Come forward, those that are not sure. Of course, those churches are always going back and forth for years and years and years because they're using, worse yet, the Christians use the law with their fallen conscience. It's worse. Pastor, and with what are we going to judge? Judge with the mind of Christ, which is the gospel that was revealed to the Apostle Paul. 